Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, don't mind this headband. I recently just hauled this in this video and I tried it on. I mean, I don't really know how I feel about it right now. I mean, I think it's kind of cute, but I really don't feel like doing my hair, so it's just one of those days, so just don't mind that. But other than that, today I'm testing out a bunch of new products that I picked up from Ulta. Some drugstore, some high-end, a little bit of a mix of both. So if you recently watched my haul video, I think last week or a few videos back, then you'll know which products I'm going to be testing out today. So let's get right into this. The first thing that I'm super excited to use is this cute little headband. Isn't this so cute? Um, I realized that like I was always using clips to clip my hair back when I was doing my makeup recording. So I thought I would try this out since it's so adorable. It might make me look a little crazy. I haven't even tried it on yet. Should I keep it like that? Or I honestly thought it was going to look a lot cuter on me. I mean, I don't think this looks very cute. Let's just move on. So the first thing that I did pick up was my Holy Grail Smashbox Primer Water. It gives my skin a nice little boost of hydration before my makeup so it doesn't look so dry or like flaky. So super excited I have this back in my life. And I did pick up two new sponges. So the first one, this is the Japanesque Beauty Sponge. Looks like this. It's kind of like a little tie-dye type of thing, red and black. And then I picked up the Morphe Highlight and Contour Sponge, where it has like the little point and slants. I was very skeptical about the Japanesque one, and I ended up reading the reviews on it, and people were raving about it like crazy. So that's what made me pick this up. I wasn't going to even pick it up because I wasn't... I wasn't really sure about it. So this is what it looks like wet. It definitely expanded, but it feels pretty squishy, I mean. And then I picked up the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation, and this is new. So I think I'm going to use this one just for the sake of this video. Um, I am planning on doing like a full wear test with this, so keep on the lookout for that in future videos. I didn't pick up a new primer, so I'm just going in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer because I know this one works amazing with all types of foundations. I got the shade LC1, so I think this is like for light skin tones, cool undertones. I actually think this is the lightest shade they have. Pretty much it's supposed to brighten, hydrate, and even the skin tone. Um, it's ultra buildable, lightweight, and breathable. So it does come with like the stick. I actually like foundations like this because I feel like you can just stripe it on your face. No problem. No mess. Just go in with that much and we are going in with the new Japanesque sponge. what the first layer looks like um it's pretty much like light coverage I don't feel like this is medium or full at all so that honestly worries me because I love me a good full coverage foundation but it looks very luminous um kind of like a healthy glow from within it's not really making my texture look all that good so I'm gonna go in with a second layer because this is just not really covering anything looks like with the second layer definitely was buildable so we're more of like at a medium coverage right now we are so luminous oh my goodness this is such a luminous type of foundation I'm honestly very nervous about it and for the sponge it's really it's more stiff than my other sponges but I mean it blended out the foundation really nicely I mean it looks good right 
And I did pick up a new concealer. This is the BH Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer. So that's what it looks like. And I think I got the shade 105. So hopefully this is the right color. We're just going to go in. <gasps> this is not my shade at all. Let me see what shade I got. This is for light with peach undertones. This is legit orange. So I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This is new. And I actually just reviewed this on my channel as well. So if you're interested in that, I'll link it up right here. Okay. I didn't pick up a new setting powder, so I'm just going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. And this is in the shade Fair Light 10. This is what the face portion is looking like right now. I actually really like this foundation so far. Um, the concealer definitely added some coverage. I'm loving this sponge as well because it's applying the just the, all the products really nicely. I didn't pick up a new eyebrow pencil or eyebrow gel, so I'm just going to go do those off camera really quickly, and then we will move on with the rest of the products. So brows are done, and the next product I picked up is this Essence Matte Bronzing Powder. So this is for like darker skins, I guess, but don't look that dark. <laughs> so I'm just going to use this to bronze up my skin. It smells good. It kind of smells like coconuts. I actually like how pigmented this is, so you don't really have to go in with a heavy hand. You kind of just like dip your brush in and then there's the payoff of it. So I think that color is so pretty. I'm not sure how well this would show up on skin tones darker than me because I am pretty fair and this is the one for darker skin tones. But I love this. I'm obsessed with the scent of it, especially coconuts. Who doesn't love that? I love how well it blends out and how like fast it applies onto your face. You don't have to spend more than probably one minute adding bronzer on top of your whole face with this product. So this is like my favorite thing so far. And then I picked up a new blush. This is the LA Girl Just Blushing Blush. And this is in the shade Just Playful. It's a very nude toned blush. Um, nothing crazy and it's matte so that's what I like in my blushes so let's see how pigmented this one is and how well this blends out that's cute nothing too much it's like the perfect nude my kind of nude honestly and I did pick up a new highlighter this is the makeup revolution soph X highlighter palette look at all of those shades guys that is honestly stunning. This caught my eye and I was like, man, I gotta get this because, I mean, I'm just so excited. I hope these are beautiful highlighters on the skin. I mean, looks can be deceiving sometimes. The camera is not doing this justice, but those look so stunning. These look very intense. Like this row right here looks very intense in this gold one. These ones I feel like are going to be a little bit more natural. Let's dip into this shade because I actually want to see the difference between the two. So a lot of payoff. In wow. That is stunning. <gasps> wow. I'm obsessed. Even though they are powders, they don't look powdery on the skin. It just gives you a very wet looking type of highlight, which that's what I like because I do have some texture right in here on my cheeks. So I'm obsessed with that palette. I think all of these colors are going to be very pretty and very blinding on your face. You definitely can get a more subtle highlight, I feel like, with just these three and not the most intense ones in there. But just go in with a light hand if you like more of a natural highlight, but these are gorgeous. This is the e.l.f. Metallic Liquid Eyeshadow. Sash! Sashi! Mwah. I know you wanted to be in the video. I know you did. Everyone say hi to Sash. Sash, say hi to everyone. Oh. I know, she needs a haircut. That's why she looks a little straggly right now. So don't mind her bad hair day, okay? We all got them. But yeah, she just wanted to say hi. Alright, say bye. You got your spotlight. Are you happy? Yeah? 
I love you. You're so cute. She was like scratching at the door and I was like, all right, fine. So this is the e.l.f. Metallic Liquid Eyeshadow. And this is in the shade Brushed Copper. So I wanted to see if these were kind of like dupes for the Stila Liquid Eyeshadows. I mean, I was really drawn to this color as well. I'm not sure how well this is going to work on the eyes, but that's what it looks like right there. Super cute. Really pretty color. I'm obsessed with this color. Let's see what the applicator looks like. It's a very skinny wand. So I kind of just want to go in with this Dofa applicator and then blend it out with like a flat shader brush, I guess. So I'm a little scared, but let's just see how this works out. It's stinging. Yep. It's stinging my eye right now. Off. Oh my god, do you see how red my eye is? That right there is not cool. And this is meant for your eye. Yeah, liquid eyeshadow. Not cool. So this is the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. I've heard great things about these mascaras, so I've never tried them and I've always wanted to. So this is what the wand looks like on this one. Um, kind of just goes to a little bit of a slanted point. Nothing too crazy. So let's test this out. It makes my lashes look really clumpy and spidery. Just so much product comes out. Look at that lower lash line. That is not cute. No, no, I'm not a fan. I keep trying to fix it, but it just keeps getting worse. I do not like this mascara, like, whatsoever. It makes my lashes look so spidery. My lashes have never looked this spidery ever. I don't, I really don't think they have. I mean, it makes them look really long, and, like, it puts a lot of product on them, but... I don't like my lashes to look like this. Next, I picked up this Essence Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss. So this is just a clear lip gloss that you can pretty much apply over any color. You can wear it alone, do whatever. So I just popped on a ColourPop Matte Liquid Lipstick. And I want to see if this is goopy, if it's just not good, if it's good, if it smells good. It smells like straight candy, so that's a good thing. This makes your lips look really glossy and juicy. Not really a sticky consistency at all. And when you first apply this, it feels really thick and goopy. But once like you spread it out on top of your lips and really, like I don't know, let it sit there for a second, it doesn't feel heavy. It looks very shiny and it doesn't feel goopy. So I'm actually very impressed with this and I love the smell of it. Last item, this is the Ofra Makeup Fixer Light Mist. This bottle is legit the size of my face. It definitely has a cooling sensation, and I'm not really the biggest fan of the sprayer. It kind of just is like very aggressive, but it spreads it out. So, I mean, it's not the worst. I would just keep it like further away from your face when you're spraying yourself, or else you're gonna like. I don't know, get a lot in one section. So those are all of my products that I picked up. I'm not doing my hair because I don't feel like it. I'm going to keep this headband in because I think it is so cute. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this haul and first impression of the products that I picked up. Definitely subscribe to my channel before you leave if you are not already. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye loves.